Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Today, I will talk about network analysis reveals a dominant role of protein level regulation in coordinating gene functions. Uh, mRNA co-expression are commonly used uh, uh, to infer the co-functionality of gene products. Uh, this is the basis for analyzing mRNA profiling data uh, using the gene clustering co-expression network analysis gene set enrichment analysis. Uh, but a recent study have shown that the MRI profiling data cannot represent the protein profiling data. So the question is whether protein co-expression or MRI co-expression better predict the gene co-functionality. To answer this question, we use the matched MRI and the protein profiling data for breast cancer, colorectal cancer, and ovarian cancer from TCGA and the CP type to construct the co-expression uh, co network and then compare them together. To define the co-functionality, we calculate the semantic similarity score of each gene pair based on the gene ontology. Rank this uh, score from high to low, and we define the top 5% gene pairs as the functional similar gene pairs, and the bot bottom 5% as the functional dissimilar gene pairs. And then we use the log, li log likelihood like uh, log likelihood ratio to uh, evaluate the co-expression networks. Based on the MRI uh, profiling data, we found the k-nearest neighbor method uh, ha has the highest uh, LRR method. Has the highest LRR method uh, than other two common used uh, methods. So we use the k-nearest method to construct the protein co-expression network and then compare MRI and protein co-expression network together. First, uh, we perform the edge level comparison between MRI and the protein co-expression network. And we found the edge overlap between MRI and the protein co-expression network in three cancer types are very low. And we also found that the protein co-expression network have much higher LR than MRI co-expression network. And uh, we also found that the MRI specific edges have the, ma the lowest LR. So all these results indicate the protein co-expression network uh, are functional, uh, are highly functional relevant. Then we perform the network module level and uh, comparison between two networks. The network modules uh, were identified based on the network data stem package, and we performed the uh, gene ontology enrichment analysis and found more protein modules showed significant functional enrichment than MRI modules. Uh, calculate, calculating the, uh, the conservation score of MRI modules in protein network, we found the functionally coherent MRI modules are more likely to be preserved in protein networks. We also performed the cytogenetic band enrichment, and uh, we found that more functional incoherent MRI modules showed significant cytogenetic band enrichment, which is uh, which is mainly because of the impact of chromosome co-localization on MRI co-expression are very strong, but this impact is uh, marked, uh, markedly diminished in protein level. At last, uh, we also performed the uh, gene function prediction based on the MRI and the protein co-expression network, and uh, we found the we found the the proteomics the proteomics data can strengthen and the link between gene function, gene, gene expression and function for over 75% uh, go biology per set terms and uh, over 90% uh, CAG pathways. We also developed the web application tool, Gene2Net, that can reveal the novel gene function relationship based on the high, highly functional protein, protein co-expression networks. And the conclusion, so, Protein co-expression network and MRI co-expression network are very, are very, very differently. And the protein co-expression network is uh, driven primarily by the co-function, while MRI co-expression network uh, is driven by both co-function and uh, chromosome co-localization. And protein co-expression, protein level regulation provides essential mechanism to co co coordinating gene functions. So thank you. Uh, many detailed information can be found in my poster. Oh, night, night, nineteen. Thank you.